Not too long ago, I was $20,000 in debt, broke, and sleeping in a friend's basement. Today, I have multiple houses and a net worth of approximately 200 grand. I want to talk to you about how I did it and how real estate played an important part in my story. But before I do a quick disclaimer, this is not me providing a copy and paste approach to wealth growth. Everyone's situation is different. Some people have a lot more to overcome, some have less. This is just my story, and if it's helpful, great. So coming out of college, I was 20K in debt, and we had just gone into a recession caused by the housing market collapse. I was struggling to find work in the field I graduated in, and the job I did get in my area lasted for less than a year. Before long, I was sleeping in the basement of a friend's place and bouncing around between low-paying, part-time jobs just to make ends meet. I knew I couldn't afford to live on my own with the heavy debt payments and low income I was generating, but I didn't want to stay in my situation forever. So I started to strategize. I called up my debtors and requested lower payments based on my income. After doing plenty of paperwork, I was able to lower my monthly payments so I was only paying off the interest. Then I took the money I was no longer paying across those multiple loans and focused it in on the highest interest loan so I could pay that off first. Once that was gone, I took the extra money I was no longer paying on that loan and used it to attack the next highest interest loan. Anyone who's ever heard of Dave Ramsey has probably heard of the debt snowball technique. And like Dave Ramsey would recommend, as I was doing this, I avoided taking on other debts like the plague. I drove junker cars and refused to get credit cards no matter what the bank said. I continued to search for improved job situations with better compensation and even started working multiple jobs. Eventually, I had saved up a decent emergency savings and was getting close to being able to be done with my loans. That's when a friend of mine asked me to move down to South Carolina to help him with the nonprofit. I wouldn't be paid, but it was in the same field as my degree was in, so I decided to make the move. Now, obviously, this was not a financial move, and I wouldn't recommend it necessarily for others, but the end result ended up benefiting me greatly. I found myself in an area with much cheaper cost of living and the best financial opportunities of my life. Once I finished off my student loans, I went house shopping. I found a small three-bedroom house for $85,000. Yeah, I said eighty-five, dollars and got an FHA loan to buy that house. At this point, I had removed $20,000 in debt and leveraged a few thousand dollars that I had in savings to own a property worth nearly six figures. From there, I rented out two other rooms and used that money to start paying off the house faster, adding to my emergency savings and also started investing in other opportunities. 